Now, the last thing I'm gonna do, which is something new, I haven't been doing this for not even more than a year, but when Neutron came out with their Sculptor plugin, I was very interested. And what it does is their Sculptor plugin has all this AI knowledge of mixing, almost kind of like some of the mastering technology they have coming out now, where it kind of knows where certain frequencies are supposed to be with certain sounds and they train like a robot to mix it for you pretty much, which isn't perfected yet. But when it comes to solo sounds, they're getting pretty good. And this effect is going to look at our vocals and try to fix them so that they are more studio standard. And I don't like it at 100%, I never have. No technology has yet come out that can just do everything for you. Right now we have a great vocal, even if we didn't use this, we wouldn't do much, it wouldn't change much. All this is going to do is show us where we might be missing something. Like at 100%, if we listen to it and it's adding a shit ton of low end, then we might be taking out too much low end. Or if it's taking out so much high end, it's like our ears might be tripping and it might be super spicy and we're not hearing that. It's almost more like I like to use it to see if my ears are reasonably doing well with mixing the vocal. And so I'm gonna go to their voice and vocals to start. I am going to turn it to 100, keep the tone at zero, speed at 50, and the mix at 100. And this is just so we can hear what it's doing and see what it's doing. So when I hit play, it's, you're gonna see the frequency coming through and it'll in orange be boosting or taking out what it doesn't think is proper vocals. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out you see this how it's, late at night. It's boosting a lot in the uh, 600 3K range. I don't usually go out this late at night. I'm taking out some of those lows. At 100%, it even is hearing some of those lows that we were trying to take out. So that's good. That means that we were trying to take out something that's good. These highs, it's taking out some of the brightness and it's a little excessive. But either way, I would never leave it at 100%. I'm going to leave it at 20%. So I'm going to pull this down until we can barely necessarily notice it, but we can see that it's shaping the vocal. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out. Now I'm gonna increase the wet and dry signal. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out this late at night. I don't usually go out this late at night. That's good. I don't so usually I go only out have, this late at night. I only have the effect at 30%, and we only have it at 43.2 on the actual effect itself. And it's just taming it a little more to make it AI studio shenanigans. I like to stick to math, and I like AI technology, and I like what Isotope is doing. And so I like to incorporate it. And once I start incorporating it, I can hear the differences more like in my car, and I can hear the differences more on speakers that are a little more difficult to work with that aren't studio headphones or that aren't really cool Bose headphones or something like that. Like this just can kind of tame it just that little tiny, tiny bit that you might be missing. And you just want to use it at minimal. I might even put this at 25 later, but right now we're gonna leave it at that. 